Well, one of your colleagues on the House Oversight Committee says that you and your Republican colleagues are basically just accepting this double standard, that you do want the update on Hillary Clinton's emails, but you're not pressing the FBI for any update that could be, of course, wildly relevant to the presidential race if Donald Trump's campaign had some sort of connection to Russia. Well, I'm sure my colleague on oversight was not referring to me because maybe I'm a universe of one. I don't want an update on, on the status of the email investigation. I'm not entitled to an update on the status of the email investigation. I used to work for the Department of Justice. They should not be discussing the facts of an investigation until the investigation is over. Now, if my colleague meant that Comey should have kept it a secret that they had potentially hundreds of thousands of new emails, uh, I just find that interesting. A couple of months ago, they thought Jim Comey was the second coming of Christ. And a couple of months later, now they think that he should be investigated for violation of the Hatch Act. I don't like relativism, whether it exists on my side of the aisle or their side of the aisle. I think the same rules ought to apply. This is a very difficult, unusual fact pattern. But, Allison, it is difficult and unusual because of decisions made by people not named Jim Comey. I mean, Secretary Clinton is the reason you and I are having this conversation, not Jim Comey.